Hello guys and girls and welcome to the second episode of Airport CEO, the brand new game that is out within the next hour or two if you're watching this live on the day it's released. Episode 1, we started following the tutorial down here and we've been working our way through. We've got bus stops, we've got car drop-offs, we've got zones, we've got a nice security zone here. Uh, if we zoom right in, we put down these uh, checking desks. Uh, got all the queues going. We put a few plants down. We've got loads of workers that are standing around with nothing to do. And yeah, we're going to carry on with the next section. So let's go back down into here and look at construction. We did the terminal. We did the paths. We did the walking. Did the zones. Security. We've done that, which is excellent. So that's working really well. So now we need to have a look at. Oh, type U to display queues. Oh yeah, we found that last time. Aircraft fuel services. So, a great source of approval and economic growth. I'm going to pause this while we're reading this, even though the sound's all going to disappear. To save the money, we've only got 1.7 million left. I don't know how much we're going to need. A great source of approval and economic growth in relation to your airport operations is the offering of airport fuel services. Aircraft are generally propelled by two different types of propellants. Avgas and Jet A1. Avgas is typically consumed by smaller GA, general aircraft, whilst Jet A1 is an A-grade propellant used by commercial aircraft. There are, however, of course, <laughs> exceptions, exceptions, and it may vary depending on the aircraft model type. Okay. Before you can offer fueling services, you need to sign a contract with an aircraft fuel provider. Ah, go to your contracts tab in the economy panel and review your aircraft fuel provider options. Okay, so... Let's have a look in here. Contracts. Um, recruitment director is required for those. This is a building contract. Economy. Ah. Hmm. Uh, we have the contracts there. Let's maybe read that again in case I've just missed something. Go to the contracts tab in the economy panel and review your aircraft fuel provider. Uh, you must also have procured either the Aegis... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so we need to put these down. That's what it is. So let's have a look at our infrastructure and find out where these items are. Structures, maybe. Foundation, wall, door, fence, vehicle depot, small ACTC. We will need that at some point. Uh, transportation, runways, stands, nodes, and tarmac. Okay. Uh, items, we've got all the toilets, the plants, the desk, airport screens, boarding desk, security checkpoints. Okay. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Where are they then? Aha, here we go, I found it. We need to go into, I've lost it now, I've jumped out of it. Which one is it? <laughs> procurement. There it is. It's in this list down the bottom here in our procurement section. There we go. The fuel service, the fuel service. We need a procurement director. Ah, okay. So that is somebody we first of all need to hire. Procurement. Oh, no, hang on. That's the one we were just looking at. Where's the one with all the people? Staff. The board. Here we go. So we have a vacancy for a procurement director. Let's have a look at our applications. Applications are now open. Oh, I see. Okay. So then we'll have a look over here. Filter by airport staff, security janitor, service technician. Oh, okay. Will that pop up here? Cancel application, vacant. So, our oh, procurement director. There we go. That's now probably added to the list. If we scroll down, there it is. Excellent. Good. So, we have some jobs here. A little note for the uh, developers. You might need to just put this little step in with the uh, tutorial that you're doing because I probably wouldn't have found it if I hadn't have asked in the Discord. So, there we go. Another little thing. So, different salaries per hour. What has he got here? Expected salary... Experience. He's worked at Gargle. That's good. I've heard they're good. Excellent search engine. Got a little bit of a blurb about him here. Good logic. He's pleasant. Good technical. Deals with stress well. I'm assuming that's good if it's up there. Um, okay, and he's sort of got the medium amount 
Oh, he's expecting more, and he's not very good. He's worked at proctoring Narble. Yeah. Um, and he's expecting less, but no, I'll tell you what, this guy here, he's actually got the best stats, and he's expecting a medium wage. So that's good. Have we got more spam email we need to get rid of? Golden pay quick. Yeah, let's mark that as spam and delete that one. One of those is going to be a hidden thing where you can actually get more money. <laughs> if you, uh, um, if you actually looked at it. There we go. Procurement. Oh, we've got contracts. Loans, was that? Oh, the thing connected to the bank system. We've got loans. Okay, we don't need that. Procurement. So, we want to procure. Can you let me scroll down, please? Thank you very much. Oh, there's food franchises. Anti-spam filter. Ah, uh, cost $150 plus naught an hour. Unlock. Let's try and do... I like that. That's quite clever. I like that. So we can unlock these. Cost $100,000. That cost $50,000. Uh, this is for general aircraft. This is for commercial aircraft. I think we'll go for the general aircraft first. We'll build up our system to take on commercial stuff later. So we'll unlock that. You do not have the requirements for this project. Requirements aircraft stand. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Where's our game? Here we go. Back over here. So we need to put in an aircraft stand. So that was that was good. That was nice and clear. That told me what I needed to do. We have a small stand. And we can have grass, asphalt, or concrete. Um, grass will basically just look like the grass. Or we can have a medium stand. Let's have a look. I mean, we could put in a couple of small stands. Go for, like, a small airport. How many could we fit in there? One, two, three. Do you know what? Before they start building those, let's get rid of those. I want to line this up. So that is going to be... Oh, it, like, jumps a whole square. Oh, okay. That ain't going to work, then. So let's just go... Let's just do it like that. One, two... Let's get the game going again. There we go. So the aircraft are coming in that side. Excellent. So now if I go back to contracts, procurement, awaiting unlock, awaiting unlock. Okay, so they've actually got to build these things before we can do it. Requirements aircraft stand. Yeah. So let's wait for them to build that. Very good. By the way, I've put the link to the Discord in the description below. So go and check that out. Do we get, like, a percentage of how much left to build? No, but they're pretty quick. Excellent. There we go. So, yeah, go and check out the Discord. Very handy and helpful. Lots of other people that have been testing and playing the game. There we go. Time left, 5 hours and 59 minutes. Okay. Well, let's let that work away. We could add some more things in here. So, we've got, like, this waiting room area. Um, and we've got lots of other items that we can put in here. So... At the moment, I don't know whether people probably commented this before, um, in Sim Airport, you did have to run fences and close off whole areas um, for it to count as being secure around the back here. I don't think you have to do that in this game yet. So we'll hang on with that because we may add more buildings and things as we go along. So let's have a look at our items. So we've got some trash cans, sofas, gate seating. Now that would be good. Uh, that's going to go in here. Because they are going to go... Let's have a look. Check-in desk. Boarding desk. That's security. Yeah, we're going to need boarding desks here. Item can't be built here. Is there a zone that needs to be... Yeah, this probably needs to be secure as well. So let's secure that. Let's put some boarding desks in. Yes, we can. I'm thinking one, one for each thing. Uh... I want to think which way round that looks like it should go. It looks like, yeah, that's the computer keyboard at the top there. So the staff's going to stand behind. Should we have one for each? Like one there, one there, and one there. That seems that seems good. Yeah, why not? Um, and then we want some seating. So when they're waiting to get on their planes, we could probably fit quite a bit of seating along here, couldn't we? Let's let's see. I mean, if we have one sort of either side of each of those gates, you know, sort of going for some sort of... What's that lined up with the thing? That's lined up with there. Some sort of making, you know, attempt at making things look nice. 
even though that isn't quite lined up with the shape of this, but ah, yeah, 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 that's fine. Let's have a look. Yep, stuff's been delivered. Excellent. Builders are working. I'm going to speed that up a bit. I'm also going to look over here. Two hours. And, okay, that's fine. They're working at that. There we go. So that's going to get some gate seating. Uh, what other items do we have? Sofas, armchairs, allows on perso. Okay, some spelling there, devs. One person to rest comfortably and looks very nice. Allows up to three people to rest comfortably. It looks very stylish. We have an office desk, trash cans. Yeah, trash cans would be good. Uh, I'm going to add some trash cans in around here. There we go, up against the wall. Oh, we need doors to get through there, don't we? <laughs> Otherwise, no one's going anywhere. So let's add in some medium doors. Yep, and we're going to put those in the middle there. And in the middle there. Excellent. Yep. Now they can start coming through into here. Oh, I see. They wouldn't cross through there and come up into here until I put the doors in. That's good. And then we're going to need some doors up here. I believe we have some uh, emails. Receipts for the fuel service. Dear Biff Thiessen, thank you for your purchase. Your newly acquired Avgas 100 LL. Let's just slow this down a bit. Fuel service has been procured. If you experience any issues, your new product. Excellent. Please contact IKEA. Good. So we can now build that. So does that mean that's been added to my items list? Or something somewhere? Structures... Foundation, wall floor. How do I actually get it? Okay. We're good. Oh, fuel tank. Fuel depot. Basic fuel depot where fuel trucks collect aviation fuel. Yes, that's going to be it. Avgas. Yeah, there we go. A fuel tank that can be attached to a fuel depot to increase. Right. Let's go back to this. And let's just make sure. We don't need to put it. Let's. I mean, we've got it here. Obviously, they're going to come up the road. They need to fill that up. I don't know where that road's going up there. But then that sort of looks like it's connecting to this sort of area. So I'm wondering whether we could just extend the road around here. Again, I'm winging this as we go. I mean, we could... We've got this junction here. Hello, game. We've got this junction here. We could just sort of carry on that junction. Let's just uh, close that close. Thank you. And bring it up the side and put the gas thing up there. That's what I was thinking. Uh, where is it? Road. So let's go like that. Oh, perfect. And then we just oh, drop it in. Drop it in. Excellent. So they can come up here and then have our gas services by the side. Why not? Let's have a look at that. So let's just check the picture. So we know so that's the bit that needs to attach to the road. Okay, that's good. Pictures, very helpful. Thank you, developer. So we're going to have... We are going to end up with one of each, aren't we? So I'm thinking we'll go with that for now. And then a fuel tank. What has that got to face towards? <laughs> um, maybe the road. Maybe we'll, we'll leave that for now. Do we actually need that? Is that like an addition? To increase stored fuel capacity? No, we don't need that yet. That's fine. How's things going here? There we go. We've got our chairs and stuff in. We've got our gates working. Good. Stand connection. Connect stand. So is that just going to click to there? Yeah. So let's do these ones as well. You're not going to let me click on that? Hello? <laughs> Why can't I click on this one? That's weird. I was able to click on this and connect it. But not connect that one. Oh, we need doors, don't we, in here? Let's maybe put those down first. We'll come back to that. Uh, structures. Medium door. I thought I'd put in a medium door here and here, but obviously not. Oh, there we go. Just let me click on it now. Good. Connect stand. Yep. Excellent. Oh, yeah. It's like if I... That is weird. Now it won't let me click on anything else. Well, there's a, there's a bit of an odd bug there. Let's maybe open and close the menus. No. 
It's not going to let me do it until I place something else, is it? I think that's what it is. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that. Let's place some trees. There we go. How about... Let's have a look. Let's place a couple of three trees over there. There we go. That was four. And then we'll be able to connect this, I bet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, that's a little weird bug. I will... I will report that back to the devs. Yeah, that is strange. That is strange. Oh, hang on a sec. Are they just finishing that door? Have I managed to put two doors in there? I think I've managed to put two doors in there, haven't I? Yes. That looks weird to me. That's how it should look. Is that going to let me click on there again? That is a strange bug, isn't it? Anyway, let's, uh, let's stick another tree down just to get out of that bug. Bing! There we go. Good, so we've got that. We've got our fuel. Yeah, they built the fuel for us. Perfect. Let's turn around and have a look at that. The Avgas 100 LL. That sounds nice. We need it. The planes need it. And we've got space next to it as well where we get our different types of jet fuel. Consider the following criteria required for you to become compliant with aircraft refueling services. There are two, two types of fuel available. One is for large. Yeah, that one is for small. Must be procured via the procurement tab in the economy panel. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so let's have a look at that. Contracts. Avi fuel, zip fuel, nature fuel. Okay. Class small, class medium, class medium. Requirements fulfilled. Whoa, they're changing. Expires day three, day three, year one. So let's have a look at these different ones here. Uh, fuel for 0 0.05 per litre and 0 0.01 for jet fuel. Okay. 0 0.04 per litre and 0 0.09 per litre. This one's better. That's good. Is there like a... It will deliver 400,000 litres per delivery. Fuel will be delivered to fuel depots 10% or less. 200,000, yeah, so this is definitely better, this one here. And 0 0.04, 0 0.09, that's the same, 400,000. We're going to go with this one. Avi Fuel, sounds good. Sign on the dotted line. You currently have a contract of this type, cannot have more than one. Cancel the current contract first. What? Oh, I tried to click it twice, that was why. There we go. So we've got our fuel and we've got our... Oh, have our builders all finished and gone? Our builders are finished. We need to get a new building contract for any more building work. Oh, well, that's interesting. I like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we need to do that. That's fine. Okay. Oh, email. Inbox. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Golden opportunity paid quick. No, do you know what we're going to do? We are going to go to... Oh, man, I'm trying to remember all these different things. <laughs> It was up here somewhere. There it is. Procurement. Yes, we want... Oh, fuel truck. Uh, we want to unlock this. Anti-spam filter. Oh, we need a CIO for that. Oh, okay. Let's not worry about that. The Ford fuel truck will assist your airport with refueling. Why not be slow and ineffective? Makes up this charming humming noise. That's spelt wrong. That is sure to soothe your employees. Requirements. Fuel service upgrade. Road checkpoint vehicle depot. Yeah, we haven't got that, have we? Let's maybe... We'll, we'll come to that. We've done this section here. This is all completed, which is a good start. Let's jump back. Aircraft and airlines. Oh, man. We've done the aircraft stands. Good, good, good. Um, I'm going to just quickly read through that. Pause if you want to read this text. I'm going to quickly read it myself. Okay, I read through the above. Now we want to continue airside construction. To support aircraft operations, you need to construct a runway and an air traffic control tower, which we've seen about those. These can be built very easily, so this step will not go into the details of that here. Instead, we will focus on taxiway construction. Um, runway and an air traffic control tower. We're going to do that first. Um, small air traffic control tower. Let's pop that in. Um, I'm thinking we could put that over here. Which way round does that need to face? That looks like cars park in there. So I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. I hope that's facing the right way. And I feel like I need to put some road down the side so people can get to that. Um, if we go to there. And then we'll carry on this section here. 
There we go. So people can drive up there, park there, if that's the case, if that's the case. Uh, we also need to get some more builders in, don't we? So let's look at uh, contractors. Oh my giddy aunt, there's just one. <laughs> there's like hundreds there, and then it all disappeared. Are we getting any airline contracts? No. Uh, building contracts expires day one for one year. Yeah, we'll get that. How many are you going to bring? 60. You already have a contract of this type. Well, where are my builders then? Where have they all gone? The boxes are arriving. I've got a feeling I should be... Shifts the board, applicants, staff. Construction, deploy all. Oh, here they are, they're back. Where were they hiding? They were all stood around hiding somewhere. They were stood around hiding over here, were they? Hmm. Okay, well, never mind. Let's get things going. Let's get that small ACT tower in. And then, of course, we want our runway. And um, we've got to connect that to our taxi point. So what I'm thinking of doing is plopping my runway down first. Uh, infrastructure. Taxiway foundation. Taxiway. Small one, one, one way. Runway. Small stand, medium stands. So we've got small runways anyway. So, oh wow. There we go. Um, we can rotate it. Yep. I'm going to go with the... I don't know whether we might put it down the side. We'll have the planes come in at the front. How much space do we have? Yeah, let's put it... We can come down here. Sort of in this section over here. And then taxi over. I don't see why not. There we go. Small runway. Well, that'll keep them busy for a while. Let's watch these guys building over here. Well, they're waiting. They're waiting for stuff to come. So what does it say about taxiways? Um, first, you will need to lay down a taxiway foundation of your choice and make sure it covers a full path from the one runway. <laughs> I can't say one way. <laughs> to any aircraft stands. So taxiway foundation. Oh, okay. We've got grass concrete or asphalt. Should we go with glass? Uh, no, let's not. Let's go with structure not possible. Structure location not possible. Oh, okay. That's because I'm hovered over the thing. Let's go with this one. Concrete. And we want it to go from here. I don't know how wide we need to make this. And then you can specify, specify the taxiway path, which is the path the aircraft will follow. Make sure that all aircraft stands have connections with the runway center line. Press T to toggle taxiway paths. I hope, right, okay. So I think what we need to do is make this basically connect to that. I think that's the idea. Then they're going to build that for us. Yep. And then we're going to put the paths in. We may make it a bit wider. I'm wondering. Let's speed the game up. I'm thinking of making it three wide. That's it. Then we can have a path up and a path down. And we'll go with that. Hopefully that will work. Oh, there we go. There's our tower. Excellent. That should, that should be fine like that. I'm assuming that's for park cars. I don't see any other thing that could be for. How's everybody going? Yep, they're picking up all the boxes. Excellent. Oh, they're, they're flying through this. Look. Very good, very good. Um, what did it say? We can... T to toggle taxiway paths. So there's the center point. There's a, That's going to say it's not connected. Status closed. Okay, that's fine. So we need to put those in. Uh, taxiway node. Taxiway node. That's what it's going to be. Well, let's put down our taxiway nodes. Draw a path for aircraft to follow. Drag on top of taxiway foundation. Yeah, so you literally just go... Did we make this three wide? One, two, three. Are they not making that bit there? Oh, they're busy making it. Yeah, so we're going to drag this one down the middle here. And that's going to go all the way to connect up to there. There we go, look. And it puts in the painted lines for us. Excellent. And then that bit there will be finished. And that will be down the middle. If we press T. Yes. So they'll be able to connect. Oh, do we need to put it down to here as well? Like that. Maybe. That seems to have a little extra dot there for some reason. 
I don't know why, but that's, that should be it anyway. Here they come. They're running along to build that. And there's a little checklist at the bottom here. Construct a runway. Check. An ACE TC tower. Check. Taxiway foundation. Check. Drag out taxiway path. Make sure all taxiways are connected. Check. Toggle holding points by right-clicking on a taxiway path. Oh, yes. Holding points for where they need to wait if uh, something's already taken off. Let's have holding points. One way ahead. Let's have one here. And then let's have another one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. So we've got one for each plane if needed, if another plane was coming in. I don't know how this is going to work. With them sort of all driving up and down the same thing. Whether that would need to change. But looking at this here. If you look closely, there's the three gates. Uh, there's the three of these things here. They all go onto the same path. There's one holding point, And then that's the runway. So maybe they do avoid each other. I don't know. I guess we'll see as the game continues. Good. So that's done. That looks... I don't know why that's got one extra dot there. But hopefully that's working okay. Step two is going well. Yep, we've completed that one. Oh, that's it. We've completed that one. Excellent. Franchise conveyor belt system. This is going to be the one that's going to fill you with dread. Oh, is there an email? Let's see what we've got going on here. Golden opportunity pay quick. No. Receipts. I thank you for your purchase. Yep, excellent. We know about that. So there's loads of other tutorial things down here, which I think is the same as what we've been going through. Let's have a look. Tutorial step four. Just randomly look at these. Yeah, I think that's all the same thing. So, franchise. So, that's all to do with shops and things like that. Uh, let's go back. Conveyor belt system. Baggage handling. Oh, my goodness me. Before we jump into those, we are going to need to... Let's have a look at our procurement game, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Get in one of these... So let's order one of those. Do not have the requirements. Oh yeah, vehicle depot. So we need to follow some of these requirements here. We have the fuel service. That's good. Let's slow the game down a minute, actually. Fuel service upgrade. Why does that need to be upgraded? I think that means the upgrade we've already got. So, no, that's fine. There we go. Road checkpoint and vehicle depot. Well, vehicle depot we can put in. Um, I have seen that. Bus stop, drop off, checkpoint. Checkpoint. And there was a normal road to connect to a service road. Oh, service road. Used for transportation inside the tarmac area. Connects to stands and airport vehicle structures. Maybe I should have used that somewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, the structure. That's what we want. We want for our set. Where is the vehicle i've seen it vehicle depot used by airport vehicles to park in when not used so let's have one of those i mean that could just go down here let's leave a bit of space let's pop that there and get that built um and it says it needs a road checkpoint i may have messed up by using the wrong sort of roads here but we can always stick a road checkpoint in. So how's that going to work? That's literally got to go... Like that, in the middle of there, isn't it? So if we... Get road and go one, two, three, four. Remove that. Yep, you can do that for me. And then we're going to stick a checkpoint here. Maybe I need to change this to service road. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there we go. They're done. Perfect. Checkpoints. So this is just for this nice safe area up here. This is for everybody else. So I'm thinking that maybe we need another checkpoint here to not get to the ATC. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Even though it hasn't asked us to do that. There we go. I'm going to do that. Because I think we definitely need a checkpoint here. I'm hoping I'm not breaking the game by putting too many checkpoints in. I guess we'll find out. Uh, if I rotate that that way, does it really matter which way it's facing? I don't think so. 
You build that for us. Excellent. Oh, here we go. Yep, basic vehicle depot. Good. Checkpoints built. Yep. Nice. There's some fence there. <laughs> They're still building that one. Let's see whether that was uh, good enough. Oh, hang on. Look, we've got... Deliveries are coming. So I'm assuming... Total fuel level... Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to be okay now. Um, it was procurement. There we go. Order now. Perfect. 44 minutes. I'm also going to try and unlock that as well. Oh, I need a CIO. Okay. Um, not this one. Oh, man. Trying to remember all these different things down here. It's becoming fun. I can never remember this one. Right. This is employees. This is what I want. So we need a CIO. So let's open the applications for that. I'm liking it. I like the fact that there's so much thought that needs to go into your airport before it's even built. Are they going to build that or... <laughs> they're thinking about it. Before you even get onto the fun of building your airport, why are they not finishing this bit down here? I did tell them to do it three wide. You saw me do it. Um, taxiway Foundation. Oh, I've done it in grass, haven't I? That's why. I bet that's it. Let's change that to concrete. Yeah, there we go. Look. Oh, it's automatically just done it for me. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, applicants. Let's have a look. Uh, CIO. Excellent. 110 an hour, 107 an hour, 91 an hour. Let's have a look. You're pretty good at everything. Did you used to work at anywhere? Microsoft, Microsoft, <laughs> Microsoft. I was just trying to make up a funny name there. In my free time, I'm a DJ. Hey, Katie, you sound like the sort of person we need. Yep, you're going to come and join us. You're hired. And uh, yeah, when we get the parties going, let's unlock that. Excellent. We can order this, but we don't need to order it. There we go. That's much better. Look at that. That looks better. This is done out of grass. <laughs> well, I wonder if we could change that. We probably could. But we'll leave it as grass for now. Um, bom, 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 bom. What were we looking at? The procurement section. Where are we again? Here we go. Yes, we're ready for that. We've got the spam filter. Trail scanner. More data and more insight. Travel document scanner. Mine reader. <laughs> New no. baggage handling service. Yeah, we're going to get onto this. You'll bring your airport to a new operational level. We need a COO for that. Okay, let's open up. There we go. Applicants for COO, and get that ready. No more applicants. Check that later. We've got applicants coming in. Okay, so let's just George Papadopoulos. Okay, nice. Worked for 16 years. Yeah. Maria Fernandez. Worked for nine years. Same university. Bachelor's degree. You code games. Sounds like my sort of person. Yeah. Maria Fernandez, you're hired. Come and join us. And then we can get ourselves the baggage handling service, which we need to unlock. Brilliant. Man, there's so much other stuff to do down here. And we're going to look at baggage handling, I believe, in the next episode. Hit the big B with a tea stain to subscribe so you don't miss out. I believe it's raining. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to leave a like as well. Oh, we don't have anybody to let that poor guy out. He's going to be stuck there forever. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.